Um, hi, welcome to my channel. This is the continuation from previous video. So I'm going to teach you how to put a placeholder in GTX field and G password field. The next is <coughs> I will put I will teach you how to put um, icon inside the um, text field and the password field. The next is I will give you the um, other um, features in this video designing about um, text field and G password field. So let's proceed. Go to your G print plot lab, then proceed to form a source, then in your constructor G G print plot plot lab. Uh, below, uh, let's put a uh, design here. First is let's put um, placeholder for, um, for example, let's put placeholder for GTX field, GTX field, then put client property. Then here, uh, let's call the class client properties. A plot lab client properties plot um, client properties then call the method um, placeholder then the value is a string then let's put um, admin for example oh, no, uh, username then let's back to the design. Then let's edit this one, this text. Delete this GTX field one. Then this one. Then let's put a uh, G um placeholder to G password field. Then let's put here um password. Then let's try to see the changes. So to see the uh, placeholder of username. Placeholder. Okay, there's a placeholder like this, a username and password because we put username and password. So in ZX field, for, for example, let's put admin. Okay, then password um admin okay then next is let's put um icon to this uh component for example this text field and this password field so let's put icon then here um let's put icon um icon the next is let's put um, GTX field. Call the GTX field, then put client property. Then let's call the plot client properties. Then let's call the method um, TX field. TX field and um, see TX text field leading icon then here uh, we have a value which is return type is icon so let's call the um, plot svg icon then the um, location which is this one svg svg dot um what is the icon of this one person is bg okay person okay okay person that is bg okay That's it. Then, for example, let's put um, 
password here. This is um okay, then G password field. Then for example, if you want to change the icon the location, which is this is leading, means this is the left side. If we change it to um, leading, trailing to the right side, trailing icon, this one. So let's try the changes. And let's run the project. Okay. So this is the icon. We add the icon person that is BG. This is at um three uh trailing i uh, know leading and this is uh trailing so that's how we add icon in gtx field the next one is let's add um clear field button for example we want to delete the text so here um clear button <clears throat> then z text field for example this one same as um g text field or g password field then put client property then let's call plot plot properties then let's type text maybe text okay this one um text field show clear button then the return type of this one is boolean so let's um put true okay so let's try run the project so in our JTX field, there's um clear button. So for example, we type here uh, admin, then there's a X button here to clear the text. For example, if we click this one, okay, automatically clear the text. So next is let's add um uh rebuild button in g password field so here let's reveal um button the next is let's call the password field here then um put client client properties then here let's put um plot lab properties then let's call the style then here let's put um show reveal button show reveal button then let's put true then let's try to see if it is correct. Run. <clears throat> so there's a button here, which is show rebel button. For example, we put admin here. Then we want to see the password. So click this button. Then next is we don't see if it is caps lock or um, caps lock. So let's add button here for caps lock if we press um, caps lock. So here let's add um, caps lock button. So show caps lock then true let's see 
run the project. So, for example, here I press the caps lock. Then there's a button here show that uh, an indicator that you your caps lock is pressed. So thank you guys for watching. See you next video. And don't forget to like this video. Bye.